escape the city of Bangalore and once you drive towards the villages of Karnataka, you'll be surprised with how much of greenery, long roots of the banyan trees welcome you flanked on either side of the road. Hi, I'm Chitra and you're watching Masala Box Travel. Today we are heading um, to a wildlife conservation area as a weekend getaway from Bangalore. This river might be dry uh, due to the season, I'm not sure about that, but we just crossed the Jai Mangali River. If you're still not sure about where we are heading, it is a Jai Mangali Black Buck Conservation Area. Drive a little towards, um, away from Tumkur towards Maimanahalli and you would come across Jai Mangali Black Buck Conservation Reserve. Keep driving or follow the Google map until you see this board and take a right. So there are two paths um, driving, two mud paths driving into the conservation area. And uh, this board is something you will not miss it because I missed the other entry and further down I came across here. Jayamangli Black Buck Conservation Area is a huge uh, grassland conservation reserve that is meant specific for black bucks. Since wildlife sighting is good in the early mornings, we decided to leave Bangalore by 5 am I guess and was here around 7.30-8 am, did not stop anywhere and headed straight towards um, the reserve. We drove for quite a long time outside the reserve thinking um, we should be able to sight it unless this path led us to the gates. There were nobody on the gate, there were no gods, no entry fee. I did think there might be a guide or two to take us into the reserve, but there was none. The reserve has quite a varied landscape. There are huge stretches of grasslands. Then there comes a section of, uh, let's say, like a um, scarce forest but not many to be seen. It's really good for birding. Uh, I could see so many species of birds and it's um, good if you come here with a birding guidebook. I've also constructed a watchtower and some resting places so I could make out that it is safe to walk around in this park. Um, so obviously there are no predators, it's just the black bugs. You might be wondering what is so special about black bugs and black bugs are often misunderstood to be similar to deer. But the deer and black bugs belong to different family and uh, black bugs belong to antelope family. Um, they are quite extinct when you look at Pakistan, Afghanistan and even in India you have very few reservation uh, conservation areas such as this. There is one more in Gujarat, Velavandar Black Buck. Um, so it is only in places like these you would get to see the black bucks. However, that is not a black buck but this dog was the only company I had for almost two hours into the conservation area. There was just no other soul, no black bug to be seen. The sun was coming up and I was slowly losing my patience to be honest. Jungly Dao and the mocking noise they made reminded me of that video game where the duck would fly and we would shoot. That's how this noise actually was. But I'm happy that at least they entertained us through this trip. So the verdict is there are no black bugs like it's open forest all through. 
I don't know where is the Jaimangli River or the Jaimangli black box that they are conserving. Are they conserving at their home? I don't know. Or why did you come to Bangalore? I don't know that too. This was my dream destination since um, I love wildlife and I have seen many vlogs on the Jaimangli black box conservation area. Um, so I was very excited to see herds and herds of black bugs. But uh, we decided to uh, exit the gate after nearly three hours of search in the scorching sun. Um, so, so the right path was the way through which we entered the park. So we decided to take the left road that was leading to the main road. Both paths, both the paths will take you uh, to the highway. This was a Ugadi day, and we thought we as well. Uh, return after three hours of search because why on this sun would the black box turn up well but there they are <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes after three hours of searching through the park suddenly there they are like cows grazing around uh, so so cool it was to suddenly see them we got out of our vehicle and we uh, walked a little inside by foot no harm to them a very good distance was maintained such that there was no hindrance we could observe them uh, from a distance that the male so if you look at the black box the male would be dark black or a dark brown with distinct white shades around its eye the female would also have a white shade around the eye but since they are in a beach kind of coat it would not be so distinct Suddenly, as we saw, there were more black bugs emerging from the bushes of inside. We obviously couldn't go close to them to watch because it was thick bush plus never approach a wildlife uh, close. So this was a treat to watch all of a sudden. The morning got exciting and there were black bugs running around everywhere. One of the difference between black buck and the deer or cheetah is if you notice this male, the horn or the antler would grow backwards, little curled up, and they will uh, never shed these antlers, unlike deers who would shed it and then regrow it. There is no branching in its um, antler either. So that's how they are different from deer. What I did not expect Black Buck to do was this high jump. I'll play it slow. So I learned that Black Bucks uh, can run much faster than the Cheetal family and uh, they can go as high as they want. That <laughs> really, really long jump. I was super stunned. I wish I had a better camera to shoot this, but. This is a must uh, see. I mean, if you get lucky, you would get to see. Black bugs are usually seen in herd, uh, usually, one male uh, prying around a group of female, or the young males would be grazing. Um, by themselves so I hope these conservation areas make a good effort and uh, we get to see more black bugs overall this is a great one day outing from Bangalore the park is open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. as in the gates that we showed there are high chances that these black bugs um, can be seen outside the gate and that's how we got to spot this entire herd With that, we decided to return to Bangalore. So, 
there were no uh, breakfast or lunch spots nearby i was famished and the, we could find only a bakery a little uh, distance away and i happily gorged on every other snacks i could get from there so pack your foods if you wish to i hope you enjoyed this video please do share it like it and don't forget to subscribe to masala box travel